is going on everyone? Nick Olin's here with the beautiful wife Melly again and we are still at the beautiful Elbow Reef Hotel on Elbow Key and this morning we woke up early to show you guys the beautiful sunset that this hotel gets. It's right on the beach which is on you know the east side of the Bahamas so you get a beautiful sunrise. Just look at this sunrise out the door. On an early morning, gotta start with some coffee. I'm not a big coffee drinker, so first time ever using one of these things to make coffee, but pretty cool. We'll see how the coffee comes out. Is that good? Hey. Hey. I can't open my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Time to get some breakfast. Where are we going? United Hometown Inn and Marina. Yes, I've been told they have an extremely good breakfast there. So we're gonna go try it out. Let's go. And I wanna give another huge shout out to Lighthouse Golf Cart Rentals for hooking us up with this golf cart. If you guys are ever in Hopetown and need a golf cart, please reach out to them. I'll put their information on the screen now and also in the description down below. We made it to the area where you park your golf carts before you go into Hopetown, which is right there. The gate is right there, which we actually got stuck behind last night and had to wait for somebody to come open it for us. But this is the public dock here at Hopetown. I'm not positive, but I think this is where the barge that takes you over to Hopetown and Marina picks us up. So we're gonna go figure that out and we'll let y'all know what we find. We were correct. There's Hopetown Inn and Marina. This is the public dock. And there's a sign for the shuttle, which means we're in the correct spot. And right on cue, I can see it coming from over there. We made it. shuttle makes it nice and easy doesn't it beautiful and easy super easy and pretty good little gets you in the Bahamian mindset to get on a boat oh. how's the coffee mm. how was it much needed this is yummy is it and they gave us almond syrup. If you wanna like make it sweeter, okay, I'll try it. This coffee is fantastic, is it not? It is. And I'm not much of a coffee drinker, and this is coffee number two of the morning alone. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be so jittery and hyper for the rest of the morning. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> That's a dangerous thing. Oh boy. Yeah. A little French toast action with some eggs benedict. Yummy. Oh, it looks absolutely fantastic. What'd you think of the breakfast? I loved it. Highly recommend. Delicious. Extremely good. Highly, highly recommend. All right. What's next? Let's go back home, relax for a little bit, and then exploring time. Exactly. We're on a full Hope Town and Elbow Key Island tour, which I think y'all will really like. So stick around. We're going to go rest for. 20 minutes because we woke up early and then time to get going. Woo, back to the stallion.
We're getting ready to leave and head out to do our tour of Elbow and, and Hopetown and look at the view leaving this room. This place, Elbow Reef, truly is next level. Again. Please, oh, yeah. if you come to Elbow, this is the best way to say it. It is. And again, a huge thank you to Elbow Reef for having us and for being fans and supporters of the channel. Big, big thank you. If y'all are in Elbow, do yourself a favor and say Elbow Reef. It is the nicest place to stay here. I guarantee you that. So we're gonna start down on the south end of the island, which is where Tahiti Beach is. And so we're gonna get down there. We'll meet you down there and explain to you kind of what's down there and then work our way north up to Hopetown, the actual settlement here. We made it down to the south end of the island, which is where Tahiti Beach is. This is a little parking area. I'm gonna get the drone up in the air and I'll give you a little bit more background about this area with the drone in the air. So we just gave you the view from the air, but real quick before we move further south on or north on the island, wanted to give you all a quick ground level view because this is beautiful. It is stunning and you really feel like you're in a tropical place. It's super, super cool. Look at this beautiful beach, bunch of coconut trees over there, clear water, boats all anchored up over there. And then once we get over there, the it's sand prettier. becomes way prettier. The sand is pure white. There's none of this growth out here. This is probably the most famous and most visited sandbar in the entire Abacos, and for good reason. As I said, y'all just saw it from the air on the drone. I'm gonna show you real quick from ground level here, and then we'll head on north and hit the white sand area to show you kind of what's in that spot. All right, we made it here to the prettier area, and look at this. Stunning blue water. I wish there wasn't storm clouds in the way for y'all, but so be it. I can't control the weather. Look at this. Gorgeous. And if you look over there, that barge over there is actually a restaurant and bar. You can go get food and drinks. And I don't know if it's every day, but the busy days they tow the bar, power the barge on over here, anchor it. It's here all day. And it goes back to its breath at nighttime. So Pretty cool. What do you think of Tahiti Beach? I mean, look at this. You can anchor the boat here. You're going to have the perfect time. You have the floating bar. You have the restaurant. You have the, how'd you call them? The swings. The swings. The swings, which y'all just saw on the drone video. Just a cool place. Yeah. We take our boat here quite a bit. I don't think I've actually filmed being here on our boat yet, but we come here quite a bit just to hang out. Yeah, and if you're staying here or just like come here for lunch, you know, you can like Stop by by Tahiti Beach, have yeah, a good time. Exactly. So beautiful area. We're gonna walk around here a little bit more, turn the camera off because you guys have seen enough of this place already. And then I'm gonna catch back with y'all when we're on the golf cart heading north to White Sounds. 
And real quick, before we get on with the video, I do wanna remind you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content, if you like the Bahamas and boating and all of that good stuff, it helps us and it lets us know that you guys like these videos and appreciate what we're doing. Please like the videos as well, it really helps us. And then also comment below what you wanna see. We make these videos for you guys. So if you tell us what you wanna see, we know what kind of videos to make and it makes the channel a better experience for everyone involved. So enough of that, let's get on with the video. All right, our next stop heading north on Hopetown, or on Elbow Key, should I say, is the White Sound area. And that's where I am right now. And you can see I'm here next to the Bahama 41. And that's because Elbow Reef, the beautiful hotel we're staying at right now, is located in the White Sound area. It's right next to Sea Spray, which is this marina right here. And in this White Sound area, kind of your main hubs are gonna be Sea Spray, which is one of the only two marinas on Elbow Key, and I believe it is the biggest on Elbow Key. You have Elbow Reef, the beautiful hotel we're staying at, and then you have Abaco Inn, which is my favorite restaurant, probably in the entire Abaco. As you know, we go there all the time in these videos. You guys have seen a lot of Abaco Inn, which we're actually gonna go there tonight for dinner, which is my first time there for dinner, actually. So I'm not gonna hit on that too much because tonight when we're there for dinner, you guys are gonna see the whole thing. But I'm gonna get the drone up in the air, give you all some aerial, aerial pictures, and give you guys a little more background on each of the places here in White Sound. Starting at the furthest south point of White Sound, you have the Sea Spray Marina. And as I just mentioned, this is one of only two major marinas here on Elbow Key, the other one being the Hopetown Inn and Marina. And this one is definitely um, catered a little more towards the fishing crowd. During billfish season, this place can be a madhouse. But during Dorian, this entire marina got completely destroyed and wiped away. And so since then, it is under new ownership. And as you can see, the docks have been rebuilt. There is a bar there to grab some drinks and food. And then I'm told the rest of the buildings are coming soon. But moving further north, you have the area where Abaco Inn is. And if you look, that kind of peninsula that juts out with all those houses, that's Sunset Point. That's a fairly new development, but those houses there are absolutely stunning. I believe you can get three bedrooms and two bedroom ones. A client of mine actually has one of them, so I went in it, and it is absolutely stunning inside of those houses. And then moving back past the peninsula, you come up here to Abaco Inn, which, as you guys know, is easily Melly and I's favorite restaurant in the entire Abacos. This is it from the ocean side, overlooking the Sea of Abaco side. It's that white roof kind of with the blue Bahama shutters there. And you can see the deck there on the left side of the screen now. Just an absolutely awesome place. And then panning the drone back towards Sea Spray. This is kind of the layout of how everything is laid out on the shore. All right, so that's White Sound. You can see this is my personal favorite side of the island because, I don't know, it's a little more quiet, a little more low key, a little bit more laid back, I think, than the north part once you get up closer to Hopetown, but it's, what it time is, is pretty, it? It is pretty, but at this part of the island where um, Elbow Reef is or where Abaco Inn is, like this part of like area, it's more like laid back, relaxed. You have your own like room. Um, I don't know, I think I like it better, right? Uh, yeah, I like it much better, I couldn't say yeah. it better. And right now it's almost one o'clock and so we're getting hungry. And so we're gonna go eat out on the beach, which is a little bit further north and kind of a more neighborhood area. I've never been there, neither has Melly. It was recommended to us. And I've been hearing about it for years. We just never made the time to actually get there. So we're excited to try it out. Y'all gonna come with us. So we're gonna go try on the beach. We're gonna get some food and then I'm gonna keep moving north and show you guys the entire island. So come with us. Let's go. We made it to on the beach, which as y'all saw from the little driving video is kind of down this dirt road. A little bit off the beaten path, off the paved roadway, which I kind of like, because I think it adds to the island flair. What do you think? Yeah, and it's literally on the beach, so. Yeah, so I've never been here, like I said, I'm excited. There's a big sign. Here, I'll show you the sign so you know exactly where it is. Run, run, run. On the beach. 
that way, can't miss it. It's right up those steps. As you can see, this place is an absolutely awesome and beautiful little spot. The view that you get out over the ocean is absolutely amazing. And here's a quick look at the drink menu for you guys, and then another look at the actual food menu for you guys as well. Feel free to pause to look at it. We treated ourselves to some turtle racers, which is the rum specialty drink here at On The Beach. And then we both got some hamburgers, which is very typical of us. You know, Melly's a little bit more adventurous of an eater than I am, but I'm still not a huge adventurous eater, so a hamburger is perfectly in line. But the clouds are starting to get darker, and we actually ended up getting caught here in a giant storm, and so ended up spending significantly more time here on the beach than we had anticipated, but we're not complaining. It's a great atmosphere for it. And you already know that we had to put a silly goose sticker up, which is the name of our 23 Albury that we have. All right, so we just finished up on the beach, and as you guys saw, we kind of got caught up here in a storm. It was raining like crazy, so what well, we got there at probably one o'clock, and it's yeah, now it's like 3 p. 3 45. So we spent quite a bit of time here, but we made some new friends, we hung out a little bit, totally worth it. We Had so, a couple so drinks, nice. yeah, it was super, super nice. They but have good food, good drinks, good everything, good. The view is awesome from there. Sadly, it started raining for us, but like we had a great time no absolutely and it's um yeah definitely our kind of bar it's very very low-key yes, very is. not fancy right on the beach kind of a dive. it's not a dive but almost a dive and so yeah. very much our speed i enjoyed it and so this stop was a little bit longer than we had anticipated you know in this area kind of between white sound and hope town yep. but y'all saw the drone videos you guys saw what's around here but to hope town next I think so. All right, we're gonna keep continuing north. We're gonna hope this rain lets up because I can't exactly find my, the drone I use for YouTube, it's a DJI Mini 3 Pro. That thing has a waterproof rating that's negative, mm -hmm. which is metaphorical, of course, but I can't exactly fly it in the rain. So we're gonna still head up to Hope Town, film it all. I hope I can get the drone in the air to show you guys everything up there and the neighborhood north of it. But mm -hmm. enough of me rambling on, let's get up to Hope Town. made it over to Hope Town and as we talked about earlier they gate off Hope Town Sadly. yeah so you have to park your golf carts just along the road over here walk around this yeah and then you walk it so we're gonna go walk it show it to you guys and get some drone footage too hopefully it's drizzling it started drizzling again so assuming the rain lets up then I'll have some drone footage and I can kind of talk over the area if not I'm just gonna give Melly the camera and tell Melly to go to town there you yes, go. I'll take you guys <laughs> round and round. <laughs> Perfect. That's the Melly Cam. Wait, wait. The Queen's Highway. For That's a my queen. highway. <laughs> For a queen. <laughs> a little ice cream shop action over here. Very nice. I really like how these roads, or oh, yeah, sidewalks kind of, all overgrown. It gives the whole place a really cool tropical islandy feel. And as we get to the end of this little overgrown pathway, it opens up to the lighthouse over there, the famous Hopetown Lighthouse. 
This is the famous Hopetown canvas shop. It's very similar to the Albury canvas shop over on Manowar. The material that they use to make the bags is a little bit different, but they make much of the same type of stuff. I highly recommend stopping by if you're ever over here. And then this is the head office for the Thompson Group. They're pretty much the biggest real estate and building group here in the Abacos. And while I don't know any of them at all, Chris Thompson, the owner of the Thompson Group, is actually a relative of Leonard Thompson, which is where who the Marsh Harbor Airport is named after. And he was also the individual who originally bought the land where Treasure Key is and developed it into Treasure Key. So pretty cool. All right, last night you saw Hope Town at nighttime. What do you think about it during the day? Well, it's different. Last night we were in a golf cart and everything. Now we're just like doing the walk. And what do you think about pretty. it? It's pretty. It's different. I think we all look. <laughs> we both look like very treasure people, just like in beach clothes. Everyone's wearing dresses. Yes. <laughs> I told Melly it feels like a Harbor Island with a little Abaco flair to it. The roads are tight. One mini truck fills up the entire road. <laughs> What? I like the video. Oh, oh yeah? Look at that. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, don't. Melly said she feels out of place. Has no reason to. Interesting, though. Just walking along filming. And that Bahamian in the truck that we just filmed was talking about how he watches our videos and appreciates them, which is pretty cool. Lately, we've had it's a lot a of- to see those guys. Yeah, and lately we've had a lot of actual Bahamians stop and tell us they watch the videos and appreciate them, which means a lot to us, because you know we're Americans coming into their country to film these videos, and it means a lot to feel accepted and you know that they're appreciating what we're doing, so I like that. We've been continuing on down these little narrow streets. You can feel here that you're in like a fairy tale, like this yeah. tiny houses. And it gives. Beautiful. It is. Beautiful, beautiful. Look, at Look at the house. That's a gorgeous house. In my opinion, it feels I like Harbor Island, but better. And obviously, I'm biased. I'm biased towards the Abacos. This is what I'm used we to. Love, we love Harbor Island, but this is more like a between like a Harbor Island and like the you know, like Abaco's thing. It's like, it still has like, of course, like the high of Harbor Island, right? But it's like a Bahamian style. Yeah, but Harbor Island's right? Bahamian too. Yeah, but this is more like- Abaco, it's Abaco's. Yeah, no, it's, Abacos, it feels like the Abaco's. Yeah. And don't get us wrong, you know, we love it all. And we're talking like this about Elbow Key. I know we live in the Abaco's for the most part, but Treasure Key is home. The only time we ever spend yeah. an elbow is pretty much just coming over here to Firefly or Hope Town in a marina. We're out for lunch or dinner, and that's really it. So this is our first time yeah. actually spending any time here on Elbow and exploring the island and the town and all that. So that's kind of why we're drawing comparisons to everything, but we are really, really liking it. Not it's a place, beautiful. it's it is. Beautiful. It's a place, definitely a place I could see us coming, you know, to spend a little bit more time, you know, just to, yeah, have fast. a quote-unquote little vacation trip away from treasure. Yes, like a weekend here, it's beautiful. Exactly, for us, it's for us having a place on another island nearby. If yeah. <laughs> you don't have a place on another island nearby, Elbow is a great island to come and you know spend your vacation. There's everything you could ever want: bars, restaurants, mm -hmm. stores, beautiful beaches, marinas. The list goes on and on. This is Captain Jack's, one of the popular bars that's right on the harbor. Pull up in a boat. That's Hope Town in a marina. The public docks over there. And this is Captain Jack's. Very, very famous spot. Here's a quick look at the drink menu here at Captain Jack's. And then also a look at the inside of the bar here. It's pretty small and quaint, but if you go out that back door there, there is a big outdoor area with tables and everything if you wanna grab a table. And you already know that Melly and I had to trade ourselves to the Jackhammer, which is the rum drink specialty here. And they were very good, but let me warn you, they are very sneakily strong, so Watch out when you come here. But this was actually one of the opening days of the Olympics. So we sat here, got out of the heat for a little bit and just enjoyed some Olympics on the TV while we enjoyed our drinks. All right, so just filled up the tanks at Captain Jack's. If you know what we're saying here, got some drinks. And so there's not a whole lot more, you know, in Hopetown that we want to walk because you have to park your golf cart out there and walk the town like we said. And it's near five o'clock and we're getting pretty tired. So I think we're going to find a spot. 
that I can um, park my butt and fly the drone from. And I'll fly the drone and show you all of this, and then also show you the north end of the island, which has a couple of homes, um, and it's super, super high end. So let's find a place, and y'all will see that. Here. Look at the Donnie. Tell me that would not be an awesome boat to have around here just to mess around with. I am determined to one day buy a Donnie or a Bolo Ferry. I think it'd be sweet, but we found a place right next to the Crazy Crab Souvenir Shop, which is near the lighthouse over there and the entrance to the harbor over here. And I think we're gonna sit here, I'm gonna fly the drone, show you guys the area, and then we're probably gonna head back to Elba Reef after this and rest a little bit and get ready for some dinner. So here's some drone footage for y'all. So I think we finished everything we wanted to get done here in mm -hmm. Hope Town, or at least as much as we had time for today, because uh, what time is it now? Five. Yeah, we're past five, 5.15ish right now. And so we have dinner reservations for seven at Hope Town. I'm at Abaco Inn. Inn. I'm, a, I'm a mess right now. At Abaco Inn. So we're going to head back, relax for a little bit, give me a chance to edit some of this video, and then head to dinner. And as promised earlier, you guys are going to see what Abaco Inn is like for dinner. You already know it's like our favorite restaurant on the entire Abacos. So seeing how it is for the dinner scene should be pretty awesome. And then after that, I think tonight we're gonna make a night, have a night on the town. I don't know if we're gonna end up at Captain Jack's or Sea Spray for a drink, but some fun bar. So let's get back to the Elbow Reef Hotel yes. and we'll pick you up there. That barge out there, that's the bar that goes over to Tahiti Beach. And so I guess every day that they're there, they leave from here, out the entrance of the harbor, which is that way, and they make their way down to Tahiti Beach, so pretty cool. Back to the Japanese stallion. We ended up stopping at this little mini mart because we wanted a gallon of water to bring back to the hotel room. And let me tell you, this little mini mart had pretty much everything you could ever want when it comes to food on the island. I was very impressed. As you can see, we made it back to Elbow Reef. What has to be one of the prettiest hotels in the entire Abacos. In my opinion, it's the prettiest I've seen on Elbow, but has to be in the entire Abacos. When we get up here, up to our room, I'll show you that view again, which I've showed you all a bunch of times, but it's too good to pass up on. Just look at that. All right, made it back to the room. I've showed you all this in yesterday's video, but again, please look at this beautiful room. Elbow Reef really, really set us up. We've got a whole mini bar in here that comes stocked with drinks and mixed drinks and beers and waters, the whole nine yards. Beautiful. I don't know if the vertical wood is called shiplap, but I'm gonna call it shiplap. Shiplap, big exposed rafter ceiling. Just a beautiful, beautiful room. And again, big shout out to Elba Reef for making this entire trip possible, but 
We're exhausted, so we're gonna get showered, get ready for dinner, and relax a little bit. And then we're gonna catch up with y'all on the way down to Abaco Inn for dinner. Dinner time, Abaco Inn time. I'm excited. Yes, but before we go, please look at this view the Elbow Reef has. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure there's a hotel on Elbow that has a view this good. So again, if any of y'all ever wanna to come to Elbow and are looking for a place to stay, Elbow Reef is the place to be. I'm gonna go ahead and put the information down in the description along with a link to their website. Are you excited for some Abaco Inn? I'm so excited, I'm hungry. I am starving, so I am very much looking forward to this. Luckily, Abaco Inn is really not a far drive from Elbow Reef whatsoever. I'm talking like less than a minute away, but as you can see, it's fixing to be an absolutely stunning evening with a beautiful sunset. It's still, there's no wind, just perfect weather. We could not have asked for anything better. And as you're seeing right here, we were lucky enough to grab one of these little two seat tables right on the edge of the deck here, overlooking the Sea of Abaco where we got to watch the beautiful sunset. I mentioned this earlier in the video, but this is actually our first time ever eating dinner here, and I was blown away by the ambiance. It's beautiful, it's well lit, you have an amazing view of the sunset. Just a really awesome dinner spot. Yeah. All right, we finished up our dinner at Abaco Inn. How was it? Abaco Inn never disappoints. No, the food was good, I will good. say. This time the service was exceedingly slow and it got very buggy. Oh, so yeah. the fact that the service was slow on top of that became a little annoying, but the food here, it's always fantastic. As you saw, the views are always fantastic, but I think we're gonna go out to a bar tonight. So we're gonna go home, go back to Elbow Reef, settle in for a little bit, probably get changed. I need to put a hat on. My hair is going every which way at this point. And then Sea Spray Bar, is that where we're going? I think so. Yeah, so stay tuned. We're gonna go to Sea Spray Bar, I think, grab a couple drinks there because that's more my people. The fishing crowd, the sport fishing crowd, yep. that's my forte, so I'll show you what it's like there. Oof. Look how pretty this place is all lit up at nighttime. I showed it in yesterday's video. That was probably a couple days ago for y'all, but. Oh, 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 oh,